Okay, so this is an Elma patch. It's, uh, it's got lidocaine and prilocaine, 2.5% uh, of each, and it's been on here for exactly two hours, which is a recommended maximum uh, efficacy. Uh, so I'm going to take it off and see if it is, in fact, numb and to what degree. So you can kind of see the outline of the patch. That's what it looks like. It's got a um, kind of a foam, I guess, there that's got the medication transdermally put into the skin, hopefully. So I'm going to clean it with some chlorhexidine. It's feeling rather numb, so that's a good sign. Okay, let that take effect. It takes about 60 seconds. Well, that's a new sensation. So, chlorhexidine on the treated area is actually around this area, it has a burning sensation. But that may have just been from the adhesive. So, that's interesting. Nothing there, no feeling. A little bit of burning around the outer perimeter. But, chlorhexidine is rather effective. It'll take a little bit for it to dry off there. And the chlorhexidine molecule itself takes 60 seconds, so. So this is sterile right out of the package. And we're just going to test here. Okay, so that's, that's numb. I don't feel anything except slight pressure. And now we're going to make a small cut just to see. Okay, so it's pretty effective. I didn't feel any of that, but I feel like if I was to go any deeper it might feel something. Well, no, we're all the way through the dermis there, and uh, I didn't feel anything. So that's uh, that's quite effective. I'm pretty pretty impressed by this. Um, yeah, one of those patches, two hours, and uh, you're good to go. All right. So it's been about uh, a little over 30 minutes, and uh, I'm going to remove this kind of makeshift bandage here. And what I want to do is test this area. It's still, it's still a bit numb. I mean, I'm not feeling, I'm feeling that for sure. Ow. Um, but the same thing I'm not feeling. So it's still, it's still numb. Not as much. I can feel a little bit more than just pressure, but no, no pain like over there. Like, uh, it's definitely an effective patch for at least 30 minutes. So, um, for your normal 10, 5, 10, 15 minute procedures, it's more than enough. So, uh, yeah, pretty impressed with this little patch. Okay, it's been about 10 days, and uh, all I've done is put steri strips on and this occluding um, patch, which has uh, held the space really, really well for 10 days. I've been uh, showering and, you know, just basically uh, ignoring it, not really treating it special, and it's held up really, really well. Uh, only the edges have come up, but um, the actual wound area and the steri strips there, it's been it's been on there and solid for, for a good 10 days, and I've been really impressed with how well uh, this uh, transparent patch here uh, works on top of uh, steri strips. Uh, if you've ever used steri strips, you know they come off in about 30 seconds uh, after applying them. They just kind of lose adhesive really, really quickly. So by putting the steri strip down and then this um, this patch over top, it's uh, it's quite resilient. So we're going to take it off and see what it looks like under there. And so this is the scalpel tests, and uh, it's looking really, really good. So no, no uh, serious scarring. No, I'm basically, it looks uh, almost perfect. Um, no stitches, just dairy strips in this patch. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm really, really impressed with that. So pretty happy.